happy to get going. Uh, good, I was going to say good morning, although it's noon, right? So good afternoon uh, to everybody on this call. Happy Victory Tuesday uh, coming off of a Monday night win. Uh, it was good. This is the first thing I had scheduled this morning. So it has been a, it was a late night uh, wrapping up SoFi Stadium, but a great to get a win and continue to be undefeated there. And hopefully by the time Super Bowl 2022 is being played, uh, we will still be undefeated in SoFi Stadium and hopefully playing in our home locker room. But uh, is it a very exciting time to be talking about the Business Connect program and the Super Bowl coming back to Los Angeles? I, there are so many memories I have from the last time the Super Bowl was played here in 1993 at the Rose Bowl. It's hard to believe it has been 30 years uh, since this event uh, was back in Southern California. And I have some, some comments, which I always, when I think about what I remember from the 1993 Super Bowl, which I'm not sure are appropriate for, for mixed company, but uh, I would say so long ago that Jimmy Johnson was still the head coach of the Cowboys. Um, and I always think that gives people a, an idea of how long ago we were actually talking about, about hosting this event. Uh, people ask me all the time when we talk about the NFL coming back to Los Angeles and SoFi Stadium, why now? What changed uh, to bring the NFL and SoFi Stadium back? And, and I always say it's twofold. First, you know, very fortunate for our owner, Stan Kroenke, having the vision to buy Hollywood Park, uh, build an NFL Mecca, which includes the stadium, 6,000-seat uh, performance venue, 300-acre project, which includes an NFL media building, retail, apartments, hotels, and everything that Hollywood Park uh, will come to stand for that will make it an unbelievable host site for the Super Bowl and many other events. Uh, but what I always say is, truly, after all the stops and starts, Los Angeles was ready for the first time. And, you know, a thriving economy uh, built on more than just the entertainment industry, uh, really diverse, complex, international, you know, a hot spots for culinary, the arts, for music, for fashion, and for business. And truly, when I think about the Super Bowl, I think as much about the venue as I do tapping into all of the great attributes of the Los Angeles and Southern California economy uh, that come to fruition. And, you know, we could, you know, Kathy and her team, LA Sports and Chemical Commission do an amazing job putting on events. The Super Bowl is the biggest event that comes with it, but uh, certainly a group that is well prepared to handle that. I think what makes the Super Bowl so exciting for all of us who are on the Super Bowl committee is the chance to share in this endeavor with the entire community, with the entire marketplace, and make sure that you know the world's greatest, most premier sporting event and all of its economic benefits flows through to every member of the community in Southern California and has that opportunity. And that's where we get into the Business Connect program and the opportunities for small businesses to participate just as much as big businesses. And when I think about our SoFi Stadium project, which uh, costs a lot, everybody in the media tends to talk about how much the building costs. So I won't refer to it here because I, I get like a shock collar from ownership anytime I say the word 5 billion. Um, but I think one of the things we're most proud of is close to a, mil a billion dollars was spent with women and minority owned businesses in the building of that stadium and infusing the local economy in Inglewood and the surrounding communities. And I think that is very much an algorithm to what we expect the Super Bowl to do. Hopefully putting on the Super Bowl will not cost $5 billion. No. Right, Kathy? Well, and, hey, and so, you know, I don't think we will give a billion dollars back to, to local businesses, but you know, that goal of making sure that everything that happens throughout the city you know, has an opportunity for everybody who raises their hand and says, how can we participate and begin that process of learning more really starts, you know, with this call in and with the Business Connect program. And, you know, I have watched over my past near 20 years in the NFL, how the Super Bowl has grown from an event for just owners and partners and the fans of those teams to really engaging local communities for the two weeks leading up to the games and everything that happens on site, you know, at Super Bowl Live. And I know the plans that we are working through with the NFL, with Kathy's team and with Casey Wasserman, who's chairing the committee, will be second to none and we'll get Los Angeles back into the Super Bowl rotation very quickly. But most of all, 
it can't just work for the NFL and for the teams. It has to work for everybody in this community. And that's really where, where this project starts. And we are fortunate to have amazing leadership from Kathy, her team, and Casey, his team, and everybody in the community. But I think what you're going to hear more of today is how everybody on this phone call can raise their hand, get a chance, and really be part of that amazing Super Bowl story and make sure that people talk about the economic benefit uh, of this Super Bowl for years to come. I will leave you with this. This is going to be the largest tourism event in Southern California since the 1984 Olympics. And when you put that in perspective, you know, that is now getting close to 40 years um, of tourism events, 30 years since we've had the Super Bowl. So an amazing opportunity for all of us and can't wait to see uh, what each of you does with this. So with that, Kathy, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, and congratulations last night. A great victory. Wish we could have all been there, but it was great on television. So we are very excited to kick off this program today. I'd like to give you first a little background on our organization and the Super Bowl host committee. We, the Los Angeles Sports and Entertainment Commission, are the official organization for the city to bid on and secure high profile sporting and entertainment events. In addition to bidding on these major events, our organization is also responsible for fulfilling all the bid require requirements for the Super Bowl as the official Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee. Our Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee chaired by Casey Wasserman, the same man responsible for bringing the 2028 Olympics and our partners, LA, the LA Rams and SoFi Stadium. This host committee is responsible for helping plan, organize and support activities and events, which will enhance the Super Bowl experience for our city. These events, the Super Bowl in 2022, the College Football Playoff National Championship game in 2023, the US Open in 2023, and hopefully the World Cup in 2026, all these events are very important because they bring economic impact, social and community impact, and media visibility to our city as a tourism destination. These events were really important before COVID hit, but now with our tourism and hospitality industry hit so hard, job force recovery and workforce development are top of mind for everyone. Success for our organization and for the city is not just winning these, these bids and hosting these events. Success is making sure that these events make an impact leading up to the event during the event, and most importantly, they need to leave a legacy in our city. Our host committee wants to use the incredible spotlight that the Super Bowl brings to create opportunities for our local businesses and individuals. We wanna start with the NFL Business Connect program. This is an established program with a successful history and infrastructure in place. Since this program is a top priority for us, we wanted to make sure you knew about it and all the other exciting events we are bringing to LA. And now let me introduce the woman who started this all and who was actually the first director of community relations for the Carolina Panthers. Please welcome the head of Business Connect for the NFL, BJ Waymer. BJ, you're muted. Here we go. How's that? Can you hear me now? Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for the introduction, Catherine. Hi, everybody. I bring you greetings from the National Football League and from your Business Connect team. We appreciate your interest in Business Connect and your interest in Super Bowl 56. We're really, really excited about bringing Super Bowl back to L.A., it is an amazing opportunity for the NFL and we hope for the city of Los Angeles also. Um, this information session is designed for suppliers who are interested in subcontracting opportunities related to Super Bowl. That being said, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Business Connect program and how you can get involved. Super Bowl Business Connect is the NFL's supplier diversity program. Uh, our job is to identify local diverse businesses that are experienced and have the capacity to subcontract with 
NFL vendors. We have two really important jobs. One is to work with NFL vendors to ensure that we look at their scopes of work, understand what their needs are related to producing Super Bowl events, and that we dig down and find every opportunity available for local diverse suppliers. The next part of what we do is really about helping to prepare and position you, the supplier, to be successful in this program, successful at Super Bowl, and then successful after Super Bowl to be able to participate in all of those great programs that Catherine identified for you. Um, in addition to contract opportunities though, Business Connect has a full series of professional development and networking opportunities that are open to Business Connect members. It's an opportunity for us to really pull back the curtain and help you to understand not only what opportunities are available to you, but help to really grow your businesses and better position you to be stronger competitors in your home market. Their Business Connect is a competitive program. And as we go to the next slide, you'll see what our criteria is for Business Connect. Um, every company that applies to Business Connect needs to be owned and certified by a minority, woman, LGBTQ+, or a veteran business. The companies have to have a physical office that has been in operation in Los Angeles County since February of 2018. And that date is important. Um, it's not arbitrary. You know, we need to understand that you've been in business long enough to understand what your business is how to provide good service, to make mistakes, and to recover from those mistakes. That way, when you get paired with an NFL vendor, we'll know that if something should change midstream, that you are flexible enough to be able to work with us through whatever happens at Super Bowl and during those, those 14 days leading up. Um, if you are bidding on a contract for Super Bowl, we need to know that the goods and services that you are uh, providing match our needs. And then also that you represent those goods and services. Say you're a, a company that rents tents. If you bid on a tent contract with Super Bowl, you need to own the, the product that you are selling to us. It cannot be a case where you will get your supplies from two or three other vendors and then represent them through this process. You must be the direct source of all goods and services that you represent in a bid. And additionally, all of the companies that apply to us must be in good standing and eligible to do business in the city of Inglewood, which is the home of SoFi Stadium the city of Los Angeles, the county of Los Angeles, and the state of California. And, and these are the bare minimum requirements for participation. So if you meet all of those requirements, we are gonna invite you to bid um, and become a part of this process. I'd also like to talk to you a little bit about the special event production companies that we're searching for in LA. Um, this list of services that you see are businesses that we know year after year after year at Super Bowl, our NFL vendors are sourcing for these companies. Um, to dig a little deeper into some of these, you may look at say catering and food and beverage. We use a lot of different food services at Super Bowl. Um, there are going to be contracts for box lunches, for crew feeds, for green room snacks, uh, grab and go lunches or breakfast offerings for our volunteers. So it's a wide variety under that food and beverage category. Um, when you look at staffing, it could be everything from uh, a, one of our vendors looking for wayfinders to help give direction in parking lots. It could be uh, greeters at an event. 
day labor to help hang signage along the perimeter that, that uh, protects all of our activities and events. So many of these categories, while they say one or two words, offer a lot of opportunity. And as a member of the Business Connect program, we'll walk you through that process. Let's talk about working with NFL vendors. There are a couple of tips that we can give you early on in this process that might help to prepare you for what is about to happen in Los Angeles. And the one thing that we are always repeatedly telling anyone in the Business Connect program is to add your cell phone number to everything. That means your business card, your email address, your website. If you communicate with anybody about uh, the Business Connect program, your cell phone is going to be your lifeline. We say that because um, NFL vendors don't work a nine to five. You know, someone may be stuck in an airport with, with an hour and a half delay, and that's a perfect time for them to start making telephone calls. And so they may start doing some initial interviewing, they may do some initial questioning, and if they have your cell phone number, they will call you directly. What doesn't work with Business Connect um, and the relationships we have with our vendors is if someone calls you and it takes you four or five days to get back to them, you're probably going to miss out on a contract. So cell phone numbers are really your number one tip for success. Another thing I would share with you maybe is know your business capability. It is imperative that you understand how much your company can handle successfully. And the key word there is successfully. You know, anytime we engage a subcontractor working with us at Super Bowl, it is critically important that you do well. You know, we want you to be successful. And if you accept two or three contracts and you really only have the bandwidth to be successful with two, then it works against you and it works against us to not know what your capacity is. So again, know your capabilities. Another thing is, is a reminder to bid fairly. NFL vendors work in LA a lot of the time, uh, separate from Super Bowl. They work other events and they know the price of doing business in LA. It is important that you bid fairly. Um, it, it is one of the things that our vendors look at very carefully. So that is important. The other thing that's important is to get to know your Business Connect team. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, we will host a series of professional development and networking events from April 2021 through February of 2022. In those months, it is critically important that you get to know us and we get to know you. And, you know, right now everything is going to be done virtually as soon as the country opens up and we're allowed to meet with you in person. Um, you know, we need you to get to know us just as badly as we need to get you to know you. We can't advocate for you if we don't understand your business and what your capabilities are. And don't worry about those months that we have to host networking events or uh, workshops virtually. We've learned from the last seven months in Tampa that we can do this very successfully over the internet. Um, but it, what it requires is for you to be full participation. So if you are one of the vendors that are selected to be in the Business Connect program, please take advantage of all of the workshops and the networking because it will help us to learn who you are, which helps us to advocate for you when there are contracts on the line. And the last tip that I would offer you is to under promise and over deliver. You know, it really works for us when our vendors come back to us and say, you know, we had no idea how fabulous that particular supplier was, you know, because you said you could do a job and then you over delivered and gave them amazing service. So that makes 
you successful, us successful, and makes our vendors very, very happy. On this next slide, we want to talk to you a little bit about your Business Connect team. There will be four of us working on your behalf between now and Super Bowl Sunday in LA. Um, my teammates, Allison DeGroote, who is our NFL liaison, and David Weimer, who is my business partner, um, and your supplier specialist, we will be working on the uh, NFL vendor side, making sure that all of the contracts uh, available to you are ready to go. And on the LA side will be Chinsi Mouton. Um, she will be the lead of Business Connect for Super Bowl 56 in Los Angeles. By way of introduction, uh, let me tell you that you could not have a more perfect Business Connect lead in LA than Chinsi Mouton. Um, she's worked for the last eight years in community engagement. Four of those years are in what we call big sports. Um, she's worked national championship games, the uh, men's final four. She was also the lead of the Business Connect program in Atlanta for Super Bowl 53. Chinsi is an amazing advocate for Business Connect suppliers. Um, we at the, on the Business Connect team are thrilled to have her back with us working uh, together with her again. She is hardworking, she is detail oriented, and she is laser focused on making sure that Business Connect members are successful. So with that being said, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Chinsi Mouton. Thank you, BJ, and I look forward to working with each of you. This next portion of the slide is to really go through the supplier application process. So you will go to our website, lasec.net backslash business connect, and really get a sense of the eligibility requirements, the goals of the program. Also visit our FAQ section, that way you get a, get a good sense of what are the common questions in each market. From there, once you're familiar with the program, please click on the application button. That way you can begin the application. Next slide. Next slide. All right, so first you'll, you'll read and acknowledge the supplier application and registration process. As you can see, there are five bullet points that really describe how we do our vetting and selection, right? So all businesses will be carefully vetted by the NFL and the Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee. A total of 250 suppliers will be selected for inclusion in the program by February 15th. Suppliers will be notified in writing whether they are accepted or denied. Those that are accepted are put in the Business Connect resource guide, which is a directory that is used by NFL vendors and, and event producers for the Super Bowl so that we can identify the talent here in LA. Once the, the businesses are selected, we then send out a registration link to provide more um, information about your company, whether it be a logo so we can include it in the resource guide, a more elaborate company profile. And, um, and then from there, once you read all those bullet points, you check on the box below so that you acknowledge and then move on to the general overview section. So the general overview section asks for basic company information. We ask for your legal company name, um, what you're doing business as, as well as your contact info. We also want to know your website so that we can visit and then see your product and services, make sure that your contact information is listed there and get a good sense of who you are as a business. We also ask that you list what year you were established because again, that is a part of the eligibility requirements. And then also to list about four or five sentences that really explains how what you do relates to the Super Bowl or large scale sporting events. And then we also ask to include your number of employees. Next slide. So this portion of the application really helps us know who you are, right? We ask that you identify your ethnicity as a primary business owner. Um, if you don't see an option selected there, we also say that you can specify in the 
um, other blank below. We also ask that you list your classification, whether you're a minority owned, veteran owned, woman owned, or LGBTQ plus. You can check all that apply. So if you're a minority and woman, check both. Um, you also should provide, you should also acknowledge your company eligibility that you meet the requirements, right? So you would check each box saying that you have a physical office in Los Angeles County, that you do indeed 51, own 51% 51 of the company, um, that you provide the goods and services that are outlined in the Business Connect disciplines, um, that you also are in good financial standing and eligible to do business in this local market. We then ask for you to acknowledge your certification, list what agency provided that certification, this is where you would acknowledge if you're, if you're certified through a national organization or a local entity. If you don't see one of the options listed there, you do have the capability to specify in the other section. And then from there, you would upload your certification. This is very important for us because again, this is how we can begin our vetting process and make sure that you are indeed a certified business. Next slide. So here is where you would list your uh, business discipline and your capabilities. So there will be a drop down button that outlines the 30 different business disciplines. And this is where you select only one. So whatever you specialize in, that's what you should select because that is what goes in the Business Connect resource guide. We also ask that you provide three client references, past or present. These clients should speak to your capabilities and experience and know you well. So make sure that you're listening to the appropriate people in this section. We're going to call them and contact them by email and by phone. So it's important that you provide the accurate information there as well. Next slide. The last step is to really let us know how you heard about the program. Was it on the radio, through television, our website? If you don't see an option in the drop down menu, you can also list below in the other section. Then lastly, you're gonna read the disclosure. You're gonna acknowledge it and, and really get a sense again of how we select the businesses that are accepted into the program. From there, you review everything, make sure that it's accurate and, and, and in good standing, and then you will hit the submit button to complete your application. Again, here are a, key, a few key dates. October 27th, again today, the application is now available on our website. You will have more than 90 days to apply for the program, though we strongly encourage you to apply now. This will allow our team to begin the vetting process. And on February 15th, all applicants will be notified of our final decision. Okay. And this is pretty much the gist of the supplier application process. Um, we thank you for attending today. Um, I wanna thank BJ, uh, Kevin and Catherine for presenting with us today. Um, again, I, I encourage you to visit our website, get familiar with all the information, go to the FAQ section, and you can also email me any questions that you have at businessconnect at lasec.us. Thank you for your time today. And I, get, I look forward to getting to know you through your applications. Thank you.